Alright folks, sorry it's been so long since I've posted. Here we have my 1977 AMC Gremlin. Um, I decided to do, obviously if you can't tell, decided to do this in a junker. Uh, something as if a car was not very well maintained, if you can't really tell. I tried what's called the salt technique. Um, it's okay if you want to do like chipped paint, such as on the fenders or in Europe, as they would call the wings. Um, basically, what you do is before you paint the car or prime it or whatever you want to do, you prime it that see this dark kind of a brownish rustish rush rustish I don't know if that's even a word brown color you prime it that color first that's what I did here and then you sprinkle water you know just flick water on there with the paintbrush just brush water on there and as the water is still wet and I, I don't know how water can dry then it's not water anymore but while it's still wet you get salt and you sprinkle salt on there over the water and then you let that dry and then you'll paint like I did here paint the yellow over the salt and then once the paint dries then you get a um, kind of a stiff bristle brush and you chip the paint off or which is the salt you just kind of brush the salt off and it gives the uh, the effect of chipped paint. Eventually I will show a video of how to accomplish the cancerous rust as you see here and how to apply what most people use these um, weathering powders and stuff like that you can get from certain brands like Tamaya and stuff like that and do that but I'm cheap and I like to use a goey uh, a cheaper route and use the pastel chalks is what I prefer to use and there's a little bit more rust on the hood the uh, windshield also what I like to do I like to get masking tape and put masking tape over the windshield and then follow the lines of the wiper blades and have the exact pattern on the windshield that the wipers would make just for a little effect and then I cut out the tape and once I put a dusting of it just regular like sand or a light light tan spray paint and I just missed it over the windshield and that's kind of how I get the effect of the uh, the windshield that's dirty and wipers have been used. Uh, the cracks and the little chip, you know, rock chips in the in the windshield that's just with a regular hobby knife just cut into, not really cut into it, but just barely score the glass into like a star shot, you know, the star pattern and just follow the line. Uh, the interior on here is, you know, just kind of did a dusting. It's not you know, no seats torn up, no, no nothing like that. I haven't gone to, I'm not going to go into that much detail, or I didn't go into that much detail on this. The same thing, back windows dusted up, a little bit more uh, cancer over the fenders. That's usually where these things rusted out at. And before I rust a model out or do anything like this, what I do like to do, I do like to, I do like to look up a little bit, you know, photos and see exactly where these cars rust up and just just to get a little bit more um, real realism to it uh, let me open the hood up for you in just a second my hands are, I have really shaky hands here so there's the engine once again it's it's, it's rusted it's a little bit detailed but it's not you know I've had I have gone overboard a few times and I have a uh, eventually, eventually, you know, it it, it will be a a really not I say really long while, but 
I'd say at least give it about six months to a year before I even show you anything done to it. But I do have a monogram 112 scale 57 Chevy that I am going to convert into a convertible uh, and I am going to turn it into a junker like this. Basically yeah, like a barn find. Um, I, I already cut the roof off and I am planning on making a, it will be a non-working convertible top that I will put in place and just stay tuned for that and it will be completely, I mean, ratted out. I mean, doors falling off, just stuff like that. So stay tuned for that and let me show you the underside. And there's the underside of this. And that is just about it for this one. And thank you for watching. And um, if you have any models or, or anything you would like to see me build or attempt, uh, just let me know. And if it's within my the my budget or my means, I'll see what I can do. And uh, stay tuned for a couple more models. Okay, well, not a couple, just I have a few more, but actually quite a few more. So just stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.